Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here with a special treat, one of our YouTube subscribers has decided to share a testimony of something God did for her last, I mean, this morning. We're going to refer to her as Sister M. And I want you to hear how God touched her on the inside, surprised her to death. She's so beside herself, she doesn't know what to do. <laughs> so I'm going to let her speak, but I want to introduce her. Thank you so much, Sister M, for joining me on this Teletalk conversation so people can hear your testimony. Because the Bible says we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. Share what God did for you, sweetheart, and through some oh. of our uh, counseling services. Yes. Um, well, I've been calling Pat. Um, she started having her counseling services, and it just, I have been um, struggling a lot. I mean, um, I came to God. Um, I had so much, I mean, so much sin in my life before, so much sin in my life before, and just, I was in this thing, I didn't really, I didn't, I didn't know if God would forgive me or if he didn't think, he, you know, why would he want to forgive someone like me, you know, when you, you know, when you really come face to face with who you really are, it's, and you, you, <laughs> you, you wonder, you know, how can God so love or forgive someone like me, and I've been struggling, and not only with that, but also with uh, just some torment from, from, I don't know if it's demonic torment or what it is, but torment from the other side. And I just, I have been, I've been talking to Sister Pat about um, how to deal with that and how to, to just to trust in the Lord and just to keep seeking Him and just keep seeking Him and to just to, to, to just to lay everything on the table with God and just, you know, this is who I am. I know I messed up, God. Please help me, you know, and just remove these roots of bitterness, remove this, you know, just, just different things, you know, just things that, you know, that you've had problems with, and God shows you how, you know, how things are connected, you know what I'm saying, how, yes. from, you know, why you do things, okay, I had a problem with lying, and I didn't know why, and God showed me it's because of rejection, you know, you feel, you know, you have to make, you, know, you have to make yourself into somebody you're not, so if they don't want you, you don't get hurt, because it's not, you know, it's not really the you that, you know, that you portrayed that, you know, they're rejecting, you know, and I just, I never realized all the reason why I did these things, and God has been showing me why I have been doing these things, mm -hmm. and I, I'm telling you, the, one of the first things when you go to God, be honest with Him. Yes. Take responsibility for your own. Don't just, yes. you know, oh, they did this. No, don't, doesn't matter what past you come from or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Take mm -hmm. responsibility for it, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. no matter what happened to you, there's always going to be somebody else who had it worse than you, and That's they will right. come to God and be honest with Him, and He will That's work right. with them. So, you know what I'm saying? You, you can't use your past. You can't use anything like that as an excuse. Come to God honestly. Yes. Tell him, I've messed up, God. I have sinned against you, God. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. These are the things I've allowed. I let this bitterness and this resentment, mm -hmm. I let these things come into me. Please help me to get them out. Mm -hmm. and, and I've been struggling so hard. And the enemy, of course, while you're struggling, he's going to keep trying to put his foot on you, push you down. Mm -hmm. And... I've been struggling for so hard and just so long, so long, and it's just these last two days have been really hard. And I mean, to the point, I've had suicidal thoughts. I've had. Can I repeat thoughts. what you said? Because it, it didn't come out clearly on the line. Yes. Well, ahead, I want you to ahead, know that you. that Sister M just said she had suicidal thoughts, and that comes from demons. Suicidal yes. thoughts. That's torment, you guys. Okay, go on. And I, you know, these last two days were like really, really hard. And it just, I had suicidal thoughts. I had, you know, things saying, you know, in my dreams and stuff like that. I had stuff, you know, telling me that I would never be forgiven. I had stuff telling me there was no God. I had stuff and I just, mm -hmm. I just get in my prayer closet and, you know, saying there's nothing about me. But because I know it was God giving me strength, I just get in my prayer closet and say, you know what? No matter what, God, I'm yours. That's right. I, the other That's day, right. I sat in my closet and I said, God, even if you don't forgive me, well, I, there's no place for me to go. I'm not going to Satan. I reject and renounce him in every way. That's so I, right. There's no, there's no place for me to go but to you. And let I me said, say I, this, I, I sister. I said, I'm yours no matter what. 
Sister M, let me interject right here. Some of you don't realize there's a scripture that says that the devil is an accuser of the brethren. So even though all that she had been, all that she had done was covered in the blood of Jesus because Jesus is her Lord and Savior, Satan was steadily saying, yeah, but remember, yeah, but you, yeah, that, 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 that. And he just goes down the list to condemn you. But Romans says, therefore now there is no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. And this young lady has been pursuing the Lord in the spirit. And I knew God was going to manifest himself. Now, share that part. What did God do? Well, uh, this morning I was in my prayer closet. My husband had got home, and so he was watching the, the, the kid and our child. And um, I got in my, in my prayer closet, and I was with a really just, I was, oh, Lord help me. I was so just depressed and just down, and it just, I was just talking to the Lord, and just like I said, you got to be honest with the Lord, right. you know what I'm saying? you got to right. take responsibility, you got to be honest with the Lord, you know what I'm saying? And I just was just talking to the Lord, and so I went back into our room, and I just, I was watching another video by somebody else, and they were talking about God's love and everything, and then all of a sudden, it just, I noticed that there's something just lifted up off me. Ah! I, it was like something just lifted up off me. I just felt light. This burden that was been inside of me, I don't know how else to describe it, like a dark spot, was just gone. And I just, I just, I, I looked it up and I, I noticed it, it was gone. See that? And I got in a prayer closet and I started crying and I said, I just, I don't know how else to, to describe it. It's just gone. And it's like, if you've watched that movie, The Pilgrim's Progress, where yes. he got that burden on his back and he's yes. going, and you know, it just, and then when he, it's gone and he keeps feeling around for it and it's, but it's gone. That's how I felt. I just, it's just like, I it just, it was just gone suddenly. I had been praying and, and crying to the Lord and I just, it, all of a sudden it was just gone. The mm -hmm. burden, everything was gone. It's like, she just, there's no other word to describe. I just felt free. Right. I felt free and I just. you when he touches your area of pain where he touches you where the insecurities are where the old ghosts rattle in your in your skeleton in, in in the closet so to speak and all those old memories and all the the feelings of regret and sorrow and 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 emptiness and 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 just questions clouding your mind full of doubt when God touches you, it's like an instant eraser takes place. And you yeah. begin to feel that peace that passes all understanding. And you begin to feel full of joy. Nothing's changed other than what God did in you. Everything in your life is the same. But God did something in you at the appointed time. And that stays with you for the rest of your life. Mm. Yeah. 
she and I were talking earlier Satan cannot imitate love he can't manufacture it he can't manufacture peace joy purpose he can't manufacture that he can't manufacture faith now he can act it and fake it but he cannot put that in you and make you feel it he can't do that you can't conjure it up on your own it's not a psych job it's not mass hypnosis or whatever people would like to reason it away with. No, you cannot do that because it doesn't come from flesh. What she experienced this morning comes from the Holy Ghost. The fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace. I mean, the list goes on. You cannot manufacture it. That can only come from God himself. And I tell you, if you really want to experience God, if you really want a one-on-one, -on -one, God responds to hunger. This young lady calls me and gets counsel and gets encouragement and she's battling through stuff and God has finally touched her to let her know you're mine and this is real. Do you hear what I'm saying? God doesn't anoint mess. God doesn't bless mess. And this woman is fighting to get all the mess out of her life. And God honors effort. And he shows up when a person is hungry for righteousness. So I want you to be encouraged. Thank you so much, Sister M. I almost said your name. Sister M. And listen, she said the same thing that happened to her that happened to me. She said that God lifted her burden off so much. She felt like she lost. You tell them how many pounds. I felt like I, I, felt like I lost 100 pounds. I told Pat, I said, I felt so light and free. I thought I could just flip to the ceiling all of a sudden. I didn't know how to ask. I said, I don't remember. I, I was feeling like I just was before. I right. Like I really felt like I was right. Like I was right. Right. Now, when the Lord delivered me in my living room from the root of rejection, after telling me that's what it was, I cried, howled, and dry heaved for almost two hours. And listen, all of a sudden, when God told me to stand up and praise him, I felt like I, now I, didn't, I don't look like it, so don't say nothing, peanut gallery out there. <clears throat> but I felt like I lost 100 pounds. So to hear her say that, Oh, it was just so beautiful because it's like a confirmation. That's why the body needs each other. When you hear each other's testimonies and you say, Oh my goodness, I had the exact same experience. Or, oh, I saw that same thing. Or I got that same revelation. And you didn't discuss it with each other. Only God. Only God. He's wonderful. Listen to her crying in the background. She's so beside herself. She's about to bust. Well, I'm going to let her off the hook. So don't go anywhere, Sister M. Stay on the phone. But we're going to end this, and I want you to chew on this, you guys. Chew on this and get in your prayer closet, whether it's your car, your bedroom, wherever your space is, and ask God, seek and pursue him like some of you men seek a piece of tail. Seek God with all your might. And he will manifest himself to you. God bless you. And please be encouraged. God loves you.